sorry about the long introduction, but so basically the way I got working my first time doing this was factory reset my phone, iPhone 4S. After I factory reset it, I had to jailbreak it. And currently there's a jailbreak available, Pengu 1.2.1. You can Google it and download it. I originally got it from the Eviators website, but they don't have the latest version, which solves some crashing problems with iOS 7.1.2 on Windows. So you download that, and there's plenty of jailbreaking videos out there. You just have to make sure you install iTunes onto your tablet. Uh, I was able to jailbreak with my Windows 8 tablet. It's 32-bit version. Here's the Pengu version. You need version 1.2.1 to unlock iOS 7.1.2. So I'm going to go do that right now really quickly. There's one thing about jailbreaking your phone. When you jailbreak it, I wouldn't suggest jailbreaking it. You don't know what you're opening up, kind of problems you're opening up. But if you're adventurous, go ahead and jailbreak it. Um, one thing that you should do before jailbreaking is to deactivate your antivirus. Usually it will cause problems. So you need to install iTunes and deactivate any antivirus. So I'm going to go ahead and hook my phone up right now. So I hooked up my phone. And you'd probably have to wait for it to install everything, but I've done this before. I may need to add it as a trusted computer over here. So I'll put trust. And then on here it says, do you want to give access? Let's continue for the first time. Uh, what I hate about this is uh, view. What I hate about this is how it auto opens iTunes. So I usually I, usually I go into iTunes and I scroll to the bottom over here. I turn off the automatically sync. And then that's it and I apply. That way it doesn't always boot up iTunes when I hook it up. Okay now, so I'm just going to jailbreak by double clicking on here. Sometimes tablets aren't the best thing. I'm going to run this as an administrator. Ah, oh, crud. Oh. So this will open up. If everything hooked up, it'll say it's ready to jailbreak. And just click the jailbreaking button. It tells you to adjust the date on your iPhone. I wish they would have told me this earlier. So go to general. Uh, general. And scroll down to day and time. Turn off automatic zones and set it to June 2nd or something. Oops. That's the only way you can install a certificate. And then once you're done, go back to general and it should have set the same time. So set it to June 2nd, and then let it do its thing. Around halfway point, it'll install an app onto your phone. You see how it says, please tap Pengu icon to continue. Go back to my phone, and to my right. 
is the Pengu jailbreak icon. Press that and continue. And then it jailbreaks. Let it go. Again, I needed to change the date and time to June 2nd for it to jailbreak. I turned off auto sync. Oh yeah, I forgot one other thing. When you're jailbreaking, shut off uh, activation lock, i.e. find my phone or your iCloud, disable that. You might into run into problems while jailbreaking. So over here, the status is almost done. So there's actually a few things you have to do. You should always make a backup of your phone before jailbreaking. Now it's rebooting the device over here. I wasn't planning to record this. I just wanted to say that I needed to jailbreak using the Pangu jailbreak. So now it's rebooting. Unlock your device to continue jailbreak. It says make sure it's not password protected. I wish you would have told me that beforehand. So there, it's still processing jailbreak files. It's really strange it says storage almost full even though it's completely empty. I just click done. Now it's rebooting and over here it's done. So once I have this jailbreak, I can go ahead with unlocking my phone with either the Gevi card or the RSIM Air card from RSIM. So it's rebooting now. And right over here it says connect your device to begin jailbreak. Once it reconnects it'll show that it has been jailbroken on this app application over here. You can see it says it's already been jailbroken. And so to initialize this, I needed to connect to the internet and open Cydia. So just jailbroke the phone, connected Wi-Fi, and opening Cydia for the first time. It has to prepare file systems, and it takes a while. So as a reminder, when you're trying to jailbreak, if you're on iOS 7.1.2, you can jailbreak using the Pengu jailbreak version 1.2.1 jailbreak iOS 7.1.2 things to remember to do remember to back up your phone on iTunes first number two um, temporarily disable anti any antivirus or anti-spyware software when running the jailbreak on your PC it works for Windows 8 I just tested it. This is the 32-bit version. Um, what other things did you have to do for a jailbreak? I just totally forgot. Okay, so now this thing is resetting after doing its initial setup. Oh, and you have to install iTunes. And so there now when I boot up Cydia it'll take a while while it's downloading stuff so to jailbreak you need one iTunes number two the jailbreak software which is Pengu 
1.2.1 for this is for iOS 7.1.2 on a 16 gigabyte iPhone 4s number three disable your antivirus before you do the jailbreak and number four remember to back up your software on iTunes okie dokie so CD is ready to go